we're going hands-on with the new ECG functionality on the Apple Watch Series 4. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. Apple debuted and released the Apple Watch Series 4 without the ECG app, promising it and the functionality to come at a later date. Now that watchOS 5.1.2 update has been released, and with it, the ECG app. It is a separate app than the heart rate app that is currently on the Apple Watch. Once you install the watchOS 5.1.2 update and you launch the app, it'll alert you to open the health app on your iPhone, which does need to have iOS 12.1.1 installed. You will then walk through a few prompts, including entering your birth date and understanding how watchOS and the ECG app works. It also explains some of the results you might see, including AFib, low or high heart rates, or just inconclusive. What's just as important as understanding the results that you might see are the results you know you won't see. The Apple Watch and the ECG app are not able to detect a heart attack or a stroke or other heart issues. So if you do feel like you have something else wrong, be sure to talk to your doctor. Once you've gone through the prompts, it's time to take your first ECG. Return to your Apple Watch and open the ECG app that we just looked at a moment ago. Instead of always having to go to the app directly, if you use it frequently, you can set it up as a complication on your favorite Apple Watch face. Then you need to make sure the Apple Watch is on the correct wrist. It just needs to line up with the selection you made in the settings app. And you're good to go. There is no start button. Simply place your finger on the digital crown and let the 30 seconds count down. You'll see a real-time waveform going across the screen and your heart rate in that upper left-hand corner. And yes, when you run around before filming a video, you end up with an elevated heart rate that a lot of people will point out in the comments. Funny enough, the first time that we took the ECG on our new Apple Watch after installing the update, we got inconclusive. Doesn't really tell you a lot, and it does warn you, if you get this reading quite often, you should probably double check with your doctor to make sure everything's okay. Luckily for us, after repeating the test many, many times, making this video, we got a normal sinus rhythm every other time. Once you've finished the test, you can return to your iPhone as we are in the middle of the setup process and it'll give you a rundown of your results. Simply tap on done at the bottom. If you ever want to get back to your heart rate data, simply open the health app and go to heart and you have that electrocardiogram card right within the heart section. In there will be all of the readings that you take and additional information including PDFs that you can export and send to your doctor. It's always important to take tests like this with just a little bit of skepticism. Apple, of course, has done a ton of testing and they received their de novo certification from the FDA, but that certification is not all that robust and basically just means that it's not gonna cause any harm in what it's doing. Apple says they connected a trial and they had 600 participants with 98.3% sensitivity in classifying AFib and 99.6% sensitivity with sinus rhythms. AFib is a serious condition and it often goes undiagnosed. So if this app helps at least a few people see that and get in touch with their doctor, it could really help save lives. Once you finish taking those tests, there is additional information that you can add. So here we got normal sinus rhythm, but we can go down to the bottom. If something is wrong, we don't feel great, we can call emergency services right from the ECG app or I can add additional notes, such as other symptoms that I'm feeling, like skipped heartbeats, fainting, dizziness, or others. All of this gets tied into that PDF that you can export to your doctor. According to the CDC, AFib can affect up to 2% of those under 65 and 9% of those above. So Apple is primarily just trying to bring attention and awareness to those problems. Apple Watch doesn't show a lot of information on the watch itself, so anytime you take an ECG, it'll show up on your iPhone within Notification Center. Tap on the card and you're brought into the Health app and you can view all of your data. As we mentioned, choose any of the tests that you ran, you get a little bit more information on it and there is that button that says Share via PDF. Tapping on that PDF icon allows you to generate that PDF, save it into file, save it to an email, whatever it may be to export it out of the Health app and get it to the right person. As we mentioned in our Apple Watch Series 4 review, Apple really nailed what the Apple Watch is best at, and that's health features and getting information. And the ECG is more in that direction. It helps you look at different heart rate features that you never would have looked at before, and hopefully will help a few people along the way that may have some undiagnosed issues. So what do you think of the ECG app? Have you tried it on your Apple Watch? Let us know how it worked out for you down below in the comments.
If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.